Oh, hi, sorry, I didn't see you there. My name's Mark Russell. I'm applying to be a Google Certified Trainer. I am the Technology Specialist here at Westgate Elementary. I teach every class from kindergarten through fifth grade for 50 minutes a week, and I love my job. I especially love my school. We are a Title I school, with, which has a free and reduced lunch rate of about 90%. We have a large refugee and immigrant population here, which means that we have over 20 languages in our school. What I especially love is that our students work very hard to succeed in all subjects, especially in technology, because technology is a subject that they can excel in without necessarily needing a lot of English uh, uh, skills and English language skills specifically. We have one-to-one -one Chromebooks in third, fourth, and fifth grade, and we are going to be expanding that down to second and first grade. And I'm the contact person for all of the teachers in the building who have Chromebooks, so I tend to do trainings with them and help them understand how to use the Chromebooks. But what I really want to talk about today is Google Sheets, because Google Sheets is not scary, even though some people, including teachers, think it's super scary. I'm gonna show you how to make it easy. This is going to be an easy temperature scale that we can put into a document so we can show our teachers, hey, this is what the temperature has been so far today. I've got time and temperature as my headings in these cells here. I've already filled in the temperatures for the previous hours of the day, but I want to show you a little trick. I've just written 8 a.m. in this cell. I'm going to click this square here, and I'm going to drag it all the way down to here, and Google is going to know that I'm going to want those times hourly, and it has automatically written in 9 a.m., 10 a.m., all the way down to 4 p.m. for me, because Google's great. The temperature right now is, the Dalek says it's 79 degrees. So in this little cell over here, I'm just gonna type in 79 degrees. Now I have all of my data nicely arranged. I'm gonna click up here in this cell, and I'm just gonna drag it so that I highlight all of this information. I'm gonna try that again, because this pen doesn't always work so well on here. As it is showing me, you know what? I'll do it on here instead. That'll be easier. Boom, got it, okay. Now that I've done that, I've got this lovely button over here that says bar charts. Let's click that. And we just wait for all the cogs to turn and everything happens, and boom, I've got my chart already. I've got my temperature on the side here, and I've got the times along the bottom, but I might want a bar chart instead. Well, let's go and line chart. We'll make it into a bar chart instead. Ooh, lovely. I can even customize it, and I can to blue. Why not? Lovely, I can even go down here and change the color of the text to blue as well. Ha <laughs> ha, lovely. Last thing I'm gonna do, I'll go to documents. I've said, said here are the temperatures for Saturday, August 17th. I will insert chart from sheets, and then Google will know that I've already been using this sheet today, so it automatically brings it up here for me. I can select that, and select my, my uh, chart there, and import. And there it is, easy. All done, thank you for watching.